Zip it. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. Um, in this one, we are going to talk about Zip Recruiter. So this is um, a company that um, brings together employers and employees to connect them. So it's kind of like a marketplace. If you're looking for a job, you can go there um, and post your resume and create a profile. And then um, employers pay to use the platform so they can find the requisite skills that they're looking for in um, employees. So uh, the company is based out of uh, Santa Monica, uh, California. So this company, the reason why we're talking about it is because it just recently went public. So the objective here is to see if this is one that we should be looking at to buy or maybe just wait. So that's what we're going to cover in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So again, ZipRecruiter is um, kind of like an online marketplace where um, job seekers and employers get, you know, come together. And so the company, um, you know, charge the P employers to get on the platform to use their database of uh, um, um, possible employees uh, to fill positions in their company. So again, uh, the, the business model there is very straightforward. Um, you would see competitors like LinkedIn um, doing the same thing um, where you, they connect people um, together. LinkedIn is even better more so because they're making it uh, more so of a social media platform uh, for professionals uh, where you can connect with people like the old good days where you have to go to happy hour to connect um, these uh, LinkedIn. You can connect with people just like that, create a profile. So that's a, a, a competitor for them. So again, like I said, they recently went public here. So take a look here. Um, so this is a one day. Let's take a look at a five day. So the stock actually opened every day one month. You can see here one month that was May 26, opened up at $21. And um, ever since then, I kind of know went up 20, uh, 21, and it's since seen a high of close to 24, uh, 66. So that's almost about like a 16, 17% um, since they went public. But again, so the question is, should we buy this one or should we wait? Uh, before we make that decision, so let's jump in and just take a look at their, finan their financials here. So if you look at the company's their revenue for 2019, that was 429,559. Um, uh, for 2020, it was 418,142. So if you look at the difference there, um, revenue actually dropped in 2020. We can attribute that to uh, people not looking for work, people not uh, employ uh, employers not hiring because of COVID. Uh, but other than that, I don't see why the revenue should have dropped. So they could justify that as a result of COVID. So if you look at their gross profit here, uh, gross profit was about three hundred and seventy four thousand three hundred seventy five thousand for twenty nineteen and three hundred and sixty three. Oh, it's 364000 for 2020. And again, that number uh, could be as a result of COVID. But I'm not super impressed with these numbers because we're talking about in the thousands, um, unless um, these guys really plan to do some drastic change to really improve on that revenue slash um, uh, profit. I don't think that is a really good uh, you know, revenue for me to be excited about the company. So... Uh, yeah, Zip Recruiter. I think it. I mean, they have um, a place in the market. Is this going to be a, a home run? Um, is this going to be? Is going to be that stock where you buy it and it's going to make you uh, a millionaire tomorrow? I don't think so. Um, this is just going to be one of those average stocks. Um, so if for right now, I'm not going to be buying this one. I'm just going to pump the brakes on this one and see uh, where it goes. I don't really see because, again, like I said, companies like LinkedIn have more um, in the marketplace than this guy. And then um, more, again, people are finding work uh, through word of mouth. And that doesn't negate what they do. Uh, but personally, I don't see um, an area where they are going to grow and expand massively to increase their revenue, increase their profitability. I don't really see that. And again, that's my personal take. So you can do your own research and decide 
what you think about it. So I'm not going to be buying this one. I'm going to put this one on hold um, to see if they come out with some more information now that they're trading publicly um, because they're going to have a ton of pressure to increase their revenue or increase their profit from their shareholders. So I'm going to see how they, you know, show uh, that they have a roadmap to really make some changes to increase revenue and prof uh, profitability before uh, I'll jump in on this one. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Again, uh, LinkedIn is now trading publicly um, under the, the, the ticker symbol here, ZIP. That's the ticker symbol. If you want to look it up, ZIP um, and check them out. So, I mean, they, they, they're up now about... Um, almost 17% from their opening IPO day. Um, but again, um, you would see some sort of pullback here pretty soon because um, I don't really think this one has room to run massively. So again, let me know in the comment section what you think. Are you going to be buying ZipRecruiter or are you just going to pump the brakes as well um, as I'm doing here? Let me know in the comment section if you're new to the channel. We talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If there's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you are looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks. Links in the description. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated. Thank you.